It's really important that you enroll in your language from the beginning of your degree so that you're starting to build the foundation for your language learning. Um, also, because you'll need to enroll in one language unit, possibly for each semester throughout your degree, it's very important to centre your other units around uh, the language units in which you are enrolling. So, enrolling in your language unit straight up is an extremely important part of ensuring that you get a great start at Macquarie. The language units um, take up big blocks of time, so it's very important that you schedule the rest of your classes around those blocks of time. So that's why it's so important to enrol in your language units first up, so that you can schedule the rest of your units around the language unit. Enrolling in both semesters means that you are able to ensure that you are able to get the best schedule that will suit your timetable, um, in particular tutorial times. So if you enrol in both semesters straight up, you're able to choose the tutorial times that will be able to best suit your schedule. Um, and even if you have to change them later, that's all right. But if you wait until July, you might not get as much choice as if you do when you enrol at the beginning of the year. I remember when I first enrolled, I experienced a clash between two of my lectures and that was um, quite a scary experience for me because I wasn't really familiar with the enrolment process. Um, another common kind of uh, problem that students might experience is for example having all their classes, their tutorial classes booked out and they might not feel and they might feel that they're not able to take the tutorial anymore. These are all extremely common problems that students experience and you'll be able to find solutions for these problems by visiting the enrollment FAQ page from ask.mq.edu.au and if you feel that your question hasn't been answered, you can also submit a question via the ask.mq.edu.au page and someone from the team will get back to you really quickly, so don't stress. Congratulations on your offer into the Bachelor of International Studies at Macquarie University. What you see in front of you is the steps for securing your place and preparing to enroll if you're an undergraduate student at Macquarie. So there's two major steps that you can see on this web page, accept your offer to secure your place, and then choose your units and classes to enroll into. And I want to talk to you briefly about this second step, choosing your units and classes to enroll into. So below that you can see your degree essentials, the requirements for your degree year by year, um, and in the handbook the full requirements, specific and general. But most importantly at this point, as you're getting ready to prepare to enroll, you should be looking at the list of program guides. So let's click that on now and see what happens. So you arrive at this list of program guides in alphabetical order and since you're in the Bachelor of International Studies you have to scroll down quite a bit. And there we are. Click that on, then click on General Coursework Information and open the PDF. Here we are with the PDF, which shows you the recommended enrollment for your first year of study in the degree full-time. So it gives you session one and session two, so you can enroll from the beginning into your full year of study. And in session one, you need to enroll in the core unit INTS 100 Cross-Cultural Communication. You also need to enroll in the core unit INTS 101. Asia in the global context and then you need to enroll in your target language so you need to choose your language if you have not already done that and then you need to enroll in the first unit in that language so if you're coming in as completely new to a language you would be enrolling at 100 level if you studied a language for the HSC you would need to check what level you'll be coming into and if you go to the handbook and look at the units uh, for your language, it will show you whether or not you should be enrolling at 100 or 200 level or possibly even higher. But everybody needs to be enrolled in their target language in semester one in order to progress through the degree successfully and not to lose time. You need to be studying your language every semester from session one to session two and the same thing in your second year in order to be ready to go on exchange in your third year. So make sure you do that. And then your fourth unit, most students enroll in four units in each semester if they're going full time. And your fourth unit can be an elective, that is anything that you want to take, providing you meet the prerequisites. Or you could take your people or your planet unit at this time. You're required to do one people and one planet unit. You can do that in semester one if you want. Or alternatively, if you look over here on the right hand side, 
in your first year in international studies, you have to do one of these three units. So if you would prefer to study contemporary China or Japan past and present, those are actually available in semester one. So you'd need to be doing those in session one. And you just need to do one of those three, not all three of them. So don't get confused by that. Okay, so if you want to do contemporary China, you do that here. Leave your people or planet unit until later on in your degree. In session two, you have the core unit INTS 104, Societies of Europe. And then if China in World History is your choice out of these three subjects, then you'd be enrolling in that in session two. You enroll again in the second unit of your target language and then a people or a planet unit or an elective as your fourth unit. So it's fairly straightforward. You need to ensure that you get in your language. I can't emphasize that enough so that you'll be ready to go on exchange in semester one of your third year of study. And the way to ensure that you'll be able to go on exchange at the right time is to get yourself enrolled in your language units. So you should go off and enroll now in eStudent, which you can do by following the steps. If we go back to this stage, follow the steps here to get yourself to eStudent to enroll. And while you're enrolling, you should have your program guide open. And it would also be a good idea to have the enrollment FAQs open. And this way, you can go back and forth between those two documents and your eStudent enrollment to get yourself enrolled properly. So good luck, and we'll see you when you arrive on campus at the beginning of session one.